It is somehow already the 21st of December, believe it or not. It's Tuesday, we've got a few more days till Christmas Eve. Let's get into it. Alright, this time I'm going to remember the mask. <laughs> uh, but whether we get the beer in the glass or not, that's another story. We'll see. Oh, success, I think. <laughs> All right, we have beer. Mm. Table is dry today, amazing stuff. Okay, I think we have another Christmas beer. Um, it's a little cold, so it's a little hard to judge some of the stuff on this one. Uh, but I get a lot of straight up front, I get a lot of really nice caramel a multi-caramel sort of character. I get some vanilla and, and some chocolate notes as well. But um, with the last couple of beers, I've talked about the sort of scale of caramel to roastiness. And this is all the way on the end of caramel. This is like sweet toffee kind of thing. Yeah, I get very little, very little roastiness. And the roastiness that I get, it comes through as chocolate or, or a coffee. Um, but very light. Like if it's a coffee, it's a really light roasted South American coffee where it's a floral chocolate note. I can't really pick whether it's a lager or an ale. Uh, and I think there may be some things added to it. Um, I mean, it could be, it could be a lager, but if it's a lager, I think it's got some, it's had some stuff added to it. Um, I can't really, again, I can't really tell if it's a lager or an ale here. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. No, I, I can't pick one. I can't pick one. It could equally likely be a an ale. Yeah. That is confusing. It's very sweet. It's definitely had some stuff added to this, I think. Um, and I'm, I'm thinking vanilla uh, as the first one. Uh, but I think there's other things too. I, if I'm not mistaken, I think there's either... Um, Black pepper, white pepper, or chili kind of tickle on the throat. Um, don't know exactly what that's coming through, coming from. I don't really get any flavour of that in the taste of the beer or the or the aroma of the beer itself. No. So, I mean, the lot, the least pungent, pungent of all of those three is white pepper. Let's go with white pepper. Now, given how sweet it is, it's making me think it's some kind of pastry stout. Pastry. I mean, it's not. It's not stouty. It doesn't have. It doesn't have any roasty character to it. Um, it's. It's just. It, it definitely has a caramel character to it. Um, so I'm actually thinking maybe it's not that dark, um, appearance-wise. It has a caramel character to it. It has some weird spice thing in the in the throat. It has. A, I think it's got lactose in it. Those things make me think it's maybe some kind of play on gingerbread. Um, but I don't get any of the other Christmas spices that you might get from gingerbread. So that's interesting. Oh, ginger. I mean, that could be the other, the, the throat tickle. That could be ginger. I just don't get any ginger, you know? I gotta say it. This one has me the most stumped out of any beer in the calendar so far. I have no idea what's going on here. I mean, I get that pepper thing on the, on the throat. I'm pretty sure it's gotta be a pepper thing because it's so mild. Or it could be ginger, but I just don't get any ginger in the aroma or the flavor. So it's odd. Nose is milk, milk and caramel, like a milky caramel thing. Uh, does it have chocolate? I suppose so. I suppose it could have chocolate in it. I mean, I don't know. It, it's, it has me totally stumped. So let's just say uh, brown ale, vanilla, white pepper. Maybe. Let's have a look. Gee, it's a lot darker than I expected. I was, I was starting to think. I was starting to get a picture in my head towards the end there of a, a, um, like a milky looking beer that was completely hazy in the glass and looked like chocolate milk. I, I think it's too sweet for it to just be malt, um, which is giving it that sweetness. I think it really, it, it, it has to have lactose in it. I mean, seeing it hasn't changed my opinion about it at all. I'm, I am super curious. I feel like, like this is the most stumped I've been the whole month. Uh, I've been very wrong <laughs> the whole month, but I've at least, I haven't 
really been as stumped as I am now. So we'll see. Chocolate stout. Stout. Mexican chocolate. Okay, okay. Wow, I wasn't expecting this for a Christmas thing. Uh, that would be where the sp spice is coming from. There will be chili if it's a uh, Mexican chocolate. All right, so what's added? We've got... And, okay, so let's see. It, they say it's a stout. They say it's a stout. Chocolate stout. But it is not roasty in the slightest, right? So that's where, that's where it blind, I was thinking. Um, that's, that's where I was thinking this cannot be a stout because there's just zero stout character to it. And that is in the interpretation of the brewer. I think to make like a Mexican chocolate kind of beer like this, you really do need to, write, to, to dial back that roast like this. And the style has come to be known as like a Mexican chocolate stout thing. It's not, Monkey Brew didn't invent this. There's a lot of Mexican chocolate stouts out there. But to make it work, you really do need to roast, to, to dial back that roast a whole lot. And that's what they've done here. So when you smell that, you don't get roast. You don't get stout. You couldn't, you, I, I'm reasonably confident that you couldn't pick this blind, uh, just as I couldn't pick this blind. I don't think anyone drinking this completely blind could pick that it was a stout or a porter. It's just not roasty enough. The only dark malt thing that it has is a caramel thing. Caramel toffee. What I do like is that all of those, those flavors are reasonably subtle. They don't punch you in the face. It's got, huh, yes, lactose, obviously. I mean, no beer under 4.7% is that sweet without adding some kind of sweet onto it. So lactose. Uh, chocolate. I mean, I said chocolate at one point, but, um, yeah, it's fully integrated there. Uh, absolutely. You can get it, but on the nose for me, it was, it was appearing as a, as a multi character rather than a chocolate character. So that's fun. Uh, cinnamon. Damn, that is a dangerous one. Uh, cinnamon has destroyed so many beers. <laughs> They were very careful with it here, and I don't get any of it. I really don't get any of it. Curious to know if anyone else did, but um, I've had some absolute cinnamon bombs of beers. At Gale's Force by uh, Nogna was a beer which was utterly destroyed by cinnamon. Uh, to me, it was undrinkable because it just tasted like cinnamon. It was like the cinnamon challenge as a drink. Not for me. Uh, what else? Chili? Yep, I got that one. I thought it was white pepper, but that's because they were so careful with it, right? You don't get any of the chili, if you're gonna get it as a flavor in a beer from the nose or the flavor, it's gonna come across as a, I call it capsicum. It's called paprika in a way, in a way uh, and it's called pepper in, uh, uh, bell pepper in the US. So I get it as a capsicum, green capsicum kind of flavor. Which is also a flavor you get in oxidized beers, so it's not always the most positive thing, but uh, I don't get it here at all. The only place the chili came through to me was in the finish, where I got that tickle in my throat. Vanilla? Well, I got that one. No, I think it works super well. I think all of those flavors integrate really well to make a thing which stumped me completely blind, but knowing what it is, it absolutely does work as a uh, uh, Mexican... Mexican milk chocolate kind of thing. Um, absolutely. If you know what it is, that totally works. And I think Monkey Brew, it would be even better if you barrel aged it. And seriously, barrel aged the 4.7% version because uh, we're seriously lacking in, in low alcohol barrel aged beers. I know that's an incredible challenge, uh, but Homburg has done it and they've showed that it can be pulled off. I think maybe Gruff did it too? Yeah, 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 yeah. The 24th of December last year. That was Gruff's barrel-aged uh, Christmas beer. Yeah, it can be done. This would be really nice barrel-aged, I think. It would add a little bit of oxidation, uh, which would accentuate some of those flavors, and it would add uh, a lot of uh, vanillins and an and extra barrel character, which would really work with all of, all of the stuff which is going on in this beer. This is a base beer which is begging to be barrel-aged. It is very good. Um, uh, but it's not surprising to me that, uh, at all that I couldn't pick it out blind. Uh, so often these Mexican hot chocolate beers 
uh, have the problem that they lean too heavily on one of the ingredients and that just ends, ends up overriding everything and making it a worse experience because of it and often it's cinnamon that does that. Uh, but this doesn't have that problem at all. You you get the chili bite in the throat, you get the vanilla on the nose, you get the chocolate on the nose. Uh, the cinnamon is not that easy to get, but um, but I think it's better off for it because it's often cinnamon which destroys everything. It's uh, really great stuff. And to think that it's under 4.7% is just mind-breaking. I mean, that doesn't, that doesn't make sense at all. That's just black magic. Awesome. A hilarious beer to taste blind. Uh, I'm... Not at all surprised that I was uh, stumped. That, if anything, is a beer that's gonna stump you blind. It's fun how how not having any introduction to it, something can be like a bock, even though it's a beer with lactose, vanilla, chili, cinnamon, and chocolate added to it. Very surprising. But it's also, it's also so friendly that it's the kind of beer that, that you could totally take to a family gathering uh, on a Christmas Eve. I mean, I would not pair this with food, but before or after dinner, this is a beer that you could share with relatives that are not that interested in beer that might make them a little bit more interested in beer. It's friendly enough that you can understand what's going on and it's novel. Uh, it's something you haven't tasted before and it makes you want to go out there and find other things which are similar to this, which are as interesting as this. So it's, it's a re really good for that purpose. All right, cheers, Monkey Brew. Great beer. Please barrel age it. See you tomorrow.